Hello, and welcome to this episode of Geeking Off, where I upgrade my camera. Computers. Gaming. Retro gear. Devices. Anyways, let's get this started. Doing this addition to my camera. I'm just gonna cut her open. See what's inside. It came with a camera case. A lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Strap. And a thing that says do not eat on it, so I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Next in this package, we've got mini condenser microphone. I think we need to cut her open and check her out. Oh man. But here we go. Here's the microphone. This just sticks right in there. There we go. There's the microphone. Here it looks like we've got some random stuff. Looks like we've got a memory card holder. This is used to hold, well, SD cards. Quite a bit of them too, it's a nice holder. Then we've got micro, oh, it looks like it does micro SD too. Yeah, it does micro and regular SD card. This is a UV filter. Um, I've already had one of these, but this is just a basic camera cleaning kit. 32 gigabyte memory card. I'm not actually gonna use this because it's not fast enough for this camera. Um, you need at least 70 megabits per second, and I got one that's much better than this, so I'll probably use this like in a Raspberry Pi or something. Screen protectors for the camera LCD. It says super light. Probably eats up batteries. Now the camera already has its own built-in light, so I guess you can use this for an extra boost. Ah, uh, it uses triple A's. Yuck. Comes with a new tripod. Ooh, look at this. Oh wow, the tripod's got a case. Definitely feels very cheap and plasticky. Okay, and it looks like we've got a wide angle and telescopic uh, telephoto uh, lens kit here. Ah, oh, there's, comes with little cases for the lenses. And inside we've got the lenses. We've got covers, which is kind of neat. Not sure what these are, but I guess I'm gonna be figuring it out. And there's the last lens. This is the telephoto, and this one's the professional HD wide angle lens. All right, time for the main event. The Panasonic HCVX870. All right, Let's open the box, and in here, We've got a piece of plastic, it looks like. Yeah, it's a piece of plastic. The battery, oh yeah, because we're gonna need power. All right, last but not least. It's the camera. So I'm gonna charge this up, and after it charges up, we're gonna make the epic switch to this camera. Here we Here go, we it's time for the switch. Hello, we're on the new Big Bad Boy. Oh yeah. Oh yes. There we go. I'm in there. All right, so I guess the next test is uh, kind of play with some of the features on this thing. All right, to get started, I think I'm gonna play with some of these extra accessories that I got, like the microphone here, um, the two lenses, which I'm really curious about. So, uh, let's try this microphone first. Okay, now we're using the uh, cheap external microphone that came with this thing. Seeing if there's any kind of improvement with it. Uh, how do I sound? I guess we'll find out in a bit. Let's try this freaky looking light. We're in the closet, um, and right now there's a box of wires and cords in front of me, so let's turn on the light on mode one here. This is mode one. Wow, it's really bright. Let's try mode two. Even brighter. Look at that. Heck, this thing is better than a flashlight. 
I'm just gonna eat the batteries though. Yeah, it's a box full of wires. Okay, let's play with the next little toys, the lenses. The first lens we're gonna play with here is this wide angle one. This is with the wide angle lens, and I'm standing in the exact same spot I was before, and if you remember, the cat was almost in the full picture. Wow, this really widens it up. Wow. Okay, let's try the telephoto lens next. Yeah, just like the wide angle lens, this gives us more of an in-close view. Uh, let's try going in on that cat's eye. Oh my God. I can see every fiber in that blanket. Back on the external uh, microphone here. And next we're gonna try this UV filter and see if it makes a difference in the sunlight stuff. Hmm, not noticing much of a difference with the U, uh, UV filter. Okay, here's my thoughts on the camera. For one, it's really big. Um, I got this little uh, shoehorn adapter here that allows me two devices at once. And I also have the one that came with the camera so I can have three devices on this bad boy. Get real serious with it. Um, one really cool key feature is being able to use D, D, D how do I say that, DSLR uh, lenses with it. So that's an extra bonus. I did figure out what these rings are for. It's to attach the uh, lenses to this camera. They're like adapters. Um, one minor defect that I didn't like about this camera is the microphone for the external microphone is in a really, really bad spot. Um, they should have put it like on the side, on the other side, like up here or something, or down here, because when you go to shut it, you can see here, the lens, uh, the screen doesn't close all the way. Now, it does turn it off, and it doesn't hit the actual LCD, so I guess in a pinch it's a good way to turn it off, but that is really a design flaw right there. Uh, yeah. Um, so far, uh, the recordings I've done with it have been in the uh, 1080p 60 frames per second mode. Um, I am going to start playing with the 4K uh, videos on this, um, which will come in the future. I might even make a video with this camera showing off my previous camera arsenals from the past. Um, so far, I noticed a huge quality difference, even coming from this Sony one here. Um, the lens closes. It has a built-in light, but it's not near as good as this bad boy up here. And with both of them on, <laughs> yeah, you could probably walk in the dark. Um, so one last feature I want to show you, and is one last feature that made me buy this camera. And it's something that Sony took away from their cameras, and that was the night shot. So let's go play with the night shot, shall we? All right. I'm in a very, very, very dark bathroom. Man, I haven't, haven't seen Night Shot in a long time. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I've missed it so much. This is with no lights on. The camera lights are not on. It is just using the good old school, I think it's infrared. Uh, yeah, and here I am in the dark bathroom. Ooh, I'm gonna love this. I missed my night shot. I'm so happy to have it back. Time for my final thoughts. So far, I am loving this camera. The image stabilization is way better than this one. The video quality is better. Oh, it's just, it was, it's, it, it was worth the upgrade on this. And um, in the future, um, you'll be slowly seeing content coming out with this camera. Uh, Right now, there's still old content that's kind of like in the, you know, in the, in the can, I guess you would say. That still needs to be edited and published, such as the Japan vlogs, the uh, um, other Geeking Off episodes that I've already previously recorded. I plan to mostly use this for my Geeking Off stuff, and I'm still going to use my other camera, my vlogging camera. I might try to vlog with this on special occasions, like maybe the next trip to Japan because of the quality level. I wish I would have had this when I went to Japan the first time, but, you know, live and learn. I actually found this camera in Japan, and, I, and you'll find it in my vlog. The one I played with had the little camera on the side. Wait a minute. One more feature to play with. This thing can connect to our cell phone. Yes, our cell phone to do 
an in video in video. So we're gonna play with that. Okay, well here's my desk, and here's me on my crappy Samsung Galaxy 2, which is really laggy on the phone. So I'm not sure how it's coming through on the video, but let's go ahead and like say, go to another room. And let's say I'm just showing you a great view of something. So all right, well, that ends this test. And actually, I'm looking at the screen here and it's an X. So it failed. All right, all right. it's time to wrap up this video and retire this one out of service. Uh, one thing I noticed with this camera here, this old one, was the video noise within the house here. Outside it worked great. But you've been great, old friend. You've been on a lot of adventures with me. Across the world, to Vlogger Fair, through most of my videos for the last two and a half years. Thank you, old friend. But you've been replaced. Time for us to part our ways. So with that, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed, and like I said, look forward to new content slowly coming out the pikes with the new camera, and make sure to give this guy some flowers. So this has been Anthony from Anthware, and from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware, signing off.